Big Ed again. So I'm here to talk about 10 things. There's 11, including that little noise box that I'm trying to build. So 11 things total, but 10 things right now that you can do during the lockout to become a better musician. And I know what I'm talking about because I've been doing them. All right, first thing. And this is something that's not very sexy, but it's very important. Update your software. Guess what? I went in, my recording software needed to be updated. Half of my plugins, even the iLock, when I opened it, needed updating. Update all your plugins, update your iLock, update your software. You know why? Because when Pro Tools was crashing six months ago, it turned out that iLock was the problem. Okay, so update your software. You got the time, you're not doing anything else, just go through one by one. Okay, number two, tutorials. There are so many amazing tutorials. Guess what I did? I took a tutorial. It was like 20 hours on learning Ableton because I'm a Pro Tools guy and I wanted to learn Ableton. I went through this whole bloody course, only cost 30 bucks. It was a lot of work, but now I actually kind of know what's going on, even though I've sort of dabbled with it before. There are amazing guitar and piano and other tutorials on the web, amazing teachers. There's this awesome Robin Ford chord uh, lesson on True Fire. David Grissom has a True Fire. If you can't learn something from David Grissom, there's something you should just stop playing. Okay, there's Sonny Landreth. Josh Smith has a new one that's freaking incredible. Tutorials, learn about new programs, learn about your guitar, learn how to be a better musician. Do it. Okay, number three, long distance collaborations. All of my friends have been freaking out. They're like, dude, how do we do this? Like, how are we gonna continue to do what we do? And I'm like, all we gotta do is fix. So there are software, that will allow you to work on programs. Like if someone sends you a track, they can actually be part of it. I think one's called Audio Mover, and there's of course Zoom and other um, video conferencing. Guess what? Zoom can be linked to Audio Mover while you're working in Pro Tools or another program. So you can actually collaborate in real time. They can't play while you're playing, but they can see and hear what you're doing. Reaper has its own software, it's freaking amazing, that you can jam live with up to seven other musicians, live in real time. Now, I'm not a Reaper guy, I own it, I've dabbled with it a little. That's freaking amazing. You not only hear all of them in your mixer, but they hear you and you could record it. So anyway, research online collaboration. Another way is, Make tracks, if, even if you're an improviser, improvise a bunch of stuff and send it to some people and have them work and send it back and send it to the next person. We've been doing this in production for years now, but now's the time to really dig in and work it because you got the time. Learn a new instrument, okay? I have a ukulele. Don't ask me why I have a ukulele because I don't play a ukulele, but I have a ukulele. So guess what happened? I picked up the ukulele. First day I had the ukulele, I wrote a song. A really, really good song. So learn a new instrument. If there's something you've been putting off for a long time, pick it up and learn it. And guess what? It'll make you a better, it'll make you a more valuable musician. Learn a new instrument. Live streaming. My buddy Eric Amble did a live stream the other night. It was freaking fantastic. And he was clever. He didn't play his songs. He said, hey, I'm going to do a live stream where I play songs of all these bands I've produced over the years. So there was an angle to it that was more interesting than him just sitting up there and doing it. And he was just great. And people watched it. And I saw people talking about it for days afterwards. Get yourself a camera like I have a little mic. I've got this Shure mic that goes into my phone. Live stream. Do it. Ah, research new technologies. Find stuff that you've been avoiding for all these years and dig into it. Whatever it may be, like I said earlier, maybe it's recording softwares that you're not familiar with because you started with something and then went, you know, 
Research new technologies. Very important. It'll actually help you down the line to be more valuable as a musician. Oh, here's one that we tend to forget. Exercise. I know it's hard right now because we're isolated, but what gave me this idea is I was, you know, I exercise all the time anyway, but I was watching um, Charlie Hayden documentary. It's called Rambling Boy. It's free on Vimeo, by the way. And he's there, you know, he's not a big guy, but he's sitting there and he's working it. And he's, I mean, I was like, wow, man, that's a lot of work. You got to be in shape. It's good for your instrument. It's good for your, what are you going to go through a whole gig if you're not in shape, especially after this? Stay in shape. Find some programs. My local uh, cable provider has, you know, free yoga classes and workout things. Do it. I know it's hard and it's the last thing you want to think about. But it helps you and keep your hands strong. Listen to new music. That's number eight. In the last two weeks, I've listened to more music that I haven't been exposed to before that have blown my mind and have like broadened my horizons. So listen to new music. Find some stuff if you don't, if you've not been had stuff that you were putting off for a while. Listen to new music. Nine, help somebody else. There's got to be somebody you know out there who needs your help on a project, that needs you to play, to overdub on something, or just needs advice or your experience, your knowledge to help them in their career. Reach out to people. Pick up the phone. You got nothing else to do. Reach out to people. Help someone else. And do some charity. One of the best things that has happened in the last couple of weeks is We've done a bunch of projects, uh, my friends and I, who, that were going to be released this year. And we said, you know what? Let's just put them all out there to benefit our favorite club in London because that club goes out of their way for us all the time. And they could be gone when this is all over. So reach out to somebody else. Do some charity. It'll be good. Number 10, build something. That's part of this other video I'm doing where I'm building this little noise box. I'll link to that below. And number 11, the last thing that you can do to become a better musician, practice. I've been practicing my ass off since this thing happened. And it's great because I'm learning things. I'm like learning things about myself. I'm learning things about my instrument. I'm becoming better. Practice. I'm practicing with every instrument in here because we got nothing else to do. So that one may sound obvious, but just do it. We got nothing else to do. Just practice. All right. So I hope you get something out of that. If you have any questions, ask. I'm always here for anybody. It doesn't matter about what musical. Could even be about your Pro Tools crashing. And I don't care. I've done it. I've seen it. I've been there. I want to help. All right. Thanks a lot. See you next time.